Hey everyone, it's Lady Night and welcome back to the opera. Today I'm sitting here on one of the rehearsal stages. As you can see, <laughs> I got a bunch of costumes there. And normally in this space right here, uh, there would be a lot of people singing, dancing, acting. But as you can see, the lights are out. There's nothing happening here. And the reason why I am back here today to do another reading is because I'm doing a collaboration with Amy from the channel Strength Reversed and I will put all of her information in the description box so go and check her out after this video. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to her, uh, go and subscribe to her channel. She's awesome and one thing that uh, she does is she creates amazing spreads and that's what I asked her to do because uh, when I first um, came to the empty house um, more than a week ago, I thought, well, reading here would be kind of cool. And so I asked her if she could create a spread that could kind of catch the essence or the spirit of the house and to really see how does the house feel about this. Now, I've done a video um, before, like in my last video, I already did a reading, but that was more geared towards the financial situation because now we can't work and uh, we can't make any money. And how are we going to deal with that? And today's reading, and I'm going to um, show you the spread. This is the Empty Spaces spread, and I'm doing the special Phantom of the Opera edition that Amy created. and. As you can see, we have uh, five cards, five positions, and those we want to use, or I want to use in my reading today, to find out what what this empty space, what, what the energy of this empty space really is like. So it's not um, so much about, okay, like, worrying about the finances and stuff, it's more about because there's no one here. And this building, even though it's an inanimate object, it, it's not alive, but there are a lot of people who have come through here over the last decades since this building has been um, opened. And this building has been part of history. A lot of people left blood, sweat, and tears in this place. We've um, lost a few people along the way that were very dear to us and their spirit is also still here. There's one in particular who uh, left us like I think 15 years ago and his legacy is still to this day very much alive and um, he is felt, his presence is felt. I don't know if he is here but his presence is, um, yeah, he, he's as much part of this building as anyone else here. And so I want to use this reading today to kind of feel through the energy of this empty space, like the empty stages, the rehearsal stages, the actual stage. And I actually uh, got to take a picture of the stage this week because last time I was here it was completely dark, but during the week um, the stage crew is working and the house is getting a deep cleaning from top to bottom and uh, they have lowered everything like the the things where the lights are mounted on are lowered down and yeah everything is being like there's big spring cleaning going on right now so yeah that's why i couldn't show you the stage last time and today so i have already shuffled the cards once again i'm going to use my lover's path tarot because that one is just perfect for anything theater and so let's just dive into the reading. So the first position is the house, the personality of the space. And for that I got the Seven of Wands. And the story we have on this card is from the Ring Cycle and this is Siegfried the Dragon Slayer. You know that's the guy who uh, killed the dragon and then he bathed in the blood but he forgot a little spot and so he was vulnerable right there but the rest of his body was uh, invincible. So yeah that's the story. Okay the seven of wands. Well this house has been through a lot. There's so much history in these walls. Um, when this house was um, 
Like the opera in the city is a couple hundred years old, I think 300 something years old. And of course during the war, the house, the original house was destroyed. And then they rebuilt pretty much from scratch. And the building that we're in right now was opened in the 60s. And in the 60s we had a different political regime that came and uh, went. Then uh, this building saw the people stand up against that political regime. So this uh, was also very much involved, this space. The artists in this space have um, stood up to the city because um, funding for the arts is always a very sensitive topic. And when they tell the artists that, well, we're going to have to cut your money and you're going to have to make do with less, that's also a big thing. So what I'm getting from this card is that this house is very resilient. Like, no matter what is thrown at this house or at this space, we're going to get through this. And when I say we, I mean everyone working here, everyone putting their energy into this place. The artists, the people in the offices, the stage crew, everyone. So, yeah, the personality is bring it on. The second card is the stage. So how does the space view the current situation? And for that, I got the Ten of Swords. Yes, so we're down. We are absolutely down. There's like rock bottom, kind of. It's going to continue for a while. And uh, we may even have to go through this for the next, what do we have now? Maybe three, four more months. We're not really sure. And what we can take from this is that we can get a lot of wisdom, you know, the sword energy, energy of the mind. So this is a teaching moment for us. We can, this gives us the opportunity to look at things in a very different way that we haven't looked at before. No one ever saw something like this coming. No one ever thought that we would be closed for months, for like half a year probably, and that the artists were not allowed to enter this building. That is a very first in the history of this opera house. And yeah, now is the time to rethink certain things so that we can then come out of this a lot stronger. And since we're already like down on our knees, um, Right now, with everything that we know so far from politics and what they allow us and what they don't allow us to do, um, this can't really get much worse. We're, we're pretty much at the bottom. So, But from here on out, it's only up. The next card, the wings. What can the space see about the situation that we can't? And for that, I got two cards. I've got the Lovers, uh, this is I Isis and Osiris, and I've got the Six of Cups. And what's interesting, both are sixes. So, okay, the, the story of Isis and Osiris that I'm taking from this, um, they were never really apart. They were very much a team, they worked together, and the minute that they were apart and she didn't protect him, uh, something bad happened. And the same thing with Tristan and Isolde, in this uh, moment of the story, they were together and confessing their uh, love to one another. And so what I'm getting from this is that I think the space, being so empty, is missing the connection. You know, there's no one here, the, the stage is not used. Um, there is no music playing, there is no one singing, there's nothing. So I think being apart, that's um, what this place is kind of not so happy about right now. Like missing the artists, missing even the people who come through here. So yeah, 
I wouldn't call this separation anxiety because I think we're past the anxiety part, but now it's this moment, like when can we be back together? We need to be back together. And yeah, I think it's interesting that we, that it's not just the, the people missing the place, but that the energy of the place is also like, please come and, and work with me again, please. Don't let me just be all empty. Number four is the curtain. So what could be different when we return to the space? So when the curtain opens, we've got the Queen of Swords. And in this case, we've got Venus. So coming from the we miss each other part to uh, Venus over here, yeah, I think coming back will be a wonderful moment and full of love and joy and we get to do what we love because working in theater um that is not just a regular job something like with all the things that we do the different um office hours that we have and you know working on weekends to entertain people on the weekends when other people are coming here to be entertained it's just like in like restaurants or hotels you know you got to work when other people have free time and so this is a job you have to be made for that and not everyone is able to adapt to this certain schedule and yeah so when we come back it's gonna be go time we're gonna go back to the crazy hectic lifestyle and we're gonna love it we're absolutely gonna love it I can just see it. And it's going to be like, no nonsense. It's going to be like, okay, this is go time. This is business. Let's do this. You know, just stop talking. Just do it. That's the Queen of Swords. And for the last card, we've got the audience. So if all the world's a stage, what can the space tell us about uh, the drama of life? And here we have the Nine of Wands. And what do we have here? We have uh, Siegfried has just kissed Brunhilde awake from her sleep. So kind of like a Sleeping Beauty story. And yeah, so even though everything may be at a standstill for a certain amount of time, after a while, everything will continue. And life will go on here as well. And maybe uh, a couple years down the line, we're not even really going to think about this as much anymore. I think another thing that uh, this can teach us and um, what we can learn from this is in this story here, Brunhilde, she was punished by her father, Wotan, because she disobeyed him. And so she was put into this ring of fire to sleep and she said, well, instead of just having every Tom, Dick and Harry come through here and try to kiss me awake and then I have to be married to that guy, uh, uh, why not get a very specific certain kind of hero to do the job? And she already knew that this was going to be Siegfried, even though at the time when she was being put to sleep, uh, Siegfried was not even born. Uh, his mom was still pregnant with him. But she she was planning ahead, and I think that's what we can take from this, planning ahead. One thing that we learn is we've been hit out of the blue. And I think now that we've been through something like this, we can have a contingency plan for scenario A, scenario B, and we know how to deal with these kind of situations should that ever come up again. It's gonna be difficult for a time but we can manage. So, yeah. And the card that was on the bottom of the deck was the Queen of Coins. Oops. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be fine once again. And yeah, we're we're gonna make money. We're gonna put on shows. It's gonna give us that feeling that we need because the artists they're missing the applause. They are. They're missing performing. Um, the musicians, they miss playing and yeah, the stage crew, I think they also miss the busy lifestyle and we're, we're going to get back to that and we're going to be rewarded in the end. 
But um, yeah, once again, like the other reading that I did, I went from coins to coins, and here we're going from wands to wands, <laughs> which is very interesting. So, and also from uh, like the the last card is always higher than the first one, so we're going from the seven to the nine. So we're moving along with the journey, and I love that. I love that. So this is telling me we're. We're moving forward, nothing's going backwards, we're on the right track, and we've got nothing to fear, we just need to uh, get our head in the game and, you know, just do what needs to be done. So, this was the reading of The Empty Spaces, the Phantom of the Opera edition. And thank you very much, Amy, for creating this spread. This was a lot of fun. And if you want to try uh, reading at an empty space, if you also have like an empty office right now that you can go and read at, or if you know any other empty places, it doesn't necessarily have to be connected to your work, um, but any other empty place and you want to do a reading there, you can use the hashtag empty spaces tarot that we're using for this video so that we can find it, or just tell us in the comments that you're doing a reading, and then we'll come and check it out. And yeah, so have fun with this. I had lots of fun doing this here at this empty house. Well, today I wasn't quite alone. There were, I think, three other people besides the concierge and me. So yeah, this was interesting. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.